Alongside Haviland women's basketball coach Michael Madrid, I'm Mark and Sarah for Haviland Athletics after a 77-71 Tumuk win over Cameron. Coach, good win for you guys. Get you putting yourselves back within opportunity to get the 500 here tomorrow. What would you like about what you saw from your team today? You know, the thing that I really enjoyed about watching us play today is we were very balanced. If you look at the, the score sheet across the board, we had a couple in double figures. We had some that were right around nine points. I think this is our first game of the year where we've actually had more assists than turnovers. And so they were a lot of fun to watch this afternoon. They shared the ball. They played with really good energy. Everybody on the bench was with good energy. They executed what we wanted to do. Um, you know, it was just one of those Lone Star Conference grinded out wins where it was just possession of possession, and we were fortunate that we won a few more possessions down the stretch than they did. I think Devin Williams had nine rebounds, seven points, five block shots. I thought this was as good a game as I've seen her play all season. What did she do so well this afternoon? Well, you know, we missed her against St. Mary's. Obviously, you know, she didn't play with us there, and, and at WT, she didn't really play up to par just sitting out for a while and getting back to it and we we challenged her this week we really challenged her this week to use her size and her strength and to go rebound and and kind of control the paint if you will and she rose up to the challenge today and that's what we expect from Devin day in and day out and so excited to continue to see her grow as well as our, our other players and uh, you know again they're just so much fun to be around 16 from Mia Cherry off the bench today a little different role for her but what did you like about what you saw from her you know, Mia just gives us so much energy, and we missed her at WT. We missed her energy level. We missed her ability to score and shoot. You know, she's still trying to get comfortable with our new schemes coming from a junior college, but she's getting there. She plays with a lot of energy and confidence, and so to have her back on the floor was really good for us. I, I love that, you know, she's confident enough to take some big shots when she needs to. She can get stops when we need her to get stops, and, you know, she's just a huge asset to our program a lead on you guys second quarter then your team went on a 14 to 3 run and I feel like the game really changed over the course of that stretch what was the biggest difference between for your team over that time well it was just talking to them about we need to get back to being who we are let's get let's get some stops let's block out let's get an outlet and let's push and get some spacing and make them have to defend 94 feet and I thought we got some transition baskets that led to some three-point shots and some inside shots but more than anything else, I think they just settled down. I think that's one thing we've learned with this team is they're so inexperienced and they get so excited to play um, that the mental capacity at times kind of falters a little bit. But they're, they're figuring it out. This is a great grinded out win, probably the most consistent we've played all year long and just looking to grow, on, grow with this and hopefully we can do the same tomorrow. The most experienced your team has looked over the course of a game, turned it over 13 times, which is uh, about, which is, about I think about as well as you guys have done in that stat this season. Were you happy with the poise you saw from your squad? I was. You know, and that's one of the things we've continued to talk to them about is, you know, practice is an opportunity for us to get better. Games are an opportunity for us to put our practice into play. And so they're figuring it out slowly but surely. You know, our goal is to be the best basketball team we can become at the end of the year. And whatever our, our record looks like at that point, we'll look at it, see where we stand, and, and go from there. But they're figuring it out. They're getting better. They're growing. The experience is helping them tremendously. And, uh, again, I can't say enough about them. They just love them to death. Well, Coach, thanks for the time. Congrats on the win. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate you.